When your best friend has a new boyfriend, it can really throw off your whole social ecosystem. Dion and her new Boa Roo, Stanhope Billy, have been like Monaga serious for almost three whole weeks now. Oh, it's probably for me again. I had my calls forwarded. So, while Dee's been doing time in Couple Town, I've logged an unprecedented amount of Amber hours. But newsflash, it's actually been semi-tolerable. That was the hotel. Spring break reservations confirmed. Here's our itinerary. I made Daddy's secretary type it up all by myself. Wow, not a spare moment. You know, in the past, Dee and I would go to the springs and just veg. That can be fun too. Keywords, past and veg. Both of which equal Dion. Amber is now in happening. And I guarantee the two of us are going to have the best spring break ever. Great news. I can go to Palm Springs after all. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello, Amber. Hello, Dion. peace between Dion and Amber is trickier than Mother's Day at Mia Farrow's. Yeah, right! I insist that you give me my own room. I can't stand another minute of her mindless babble. Please, I will pay extra double if you put her near a really loud ice machine. Guys, we have a really big room. Let's just get along and have fun. For your inflammation, I don't need either of you tiresome twits to have fun. I would much rather spend time with someone I like. Myself. <laughs> Amber! T. What? I don't know what you're trying to prove here. You know we don't get along. We repel each other. We always will. Are you reliving our former relationship again? <laughs> let it go, baby. Just let it go. Oh, it's gone, baby. It's gone. What are you guys doing here? Signing up to be contestants on the special spring break edition of Coupled Up. <laughs> a game show? Have you exhausted every normal way of finding a date? <laughs> Laugh now, my bitter sweet ex. But Sean and I are gonna get our 15 minutes of fame. That's right. Come on, Sean. One of us has a date with a stranger. <laughs> Later, ladies. <laughs> Thank God I got out before he totally lost his mind. Dee, it would really mean a lot to me if you could just try and be nice to Amber. Uh, Cher, for you and only you, I will. <gasps> oh my God. We're late. We were supposed to meet Billy by the pool three minutes ago. Time for me to finally meet the famous Billy. Let's go. Billy, this is Cher. Don't you two just love each other? Oh, please say yes, or Dion will drop me faster than a pair of discount shoes. <laughs> he knows you so well. I was thinking of going for a hike. You guys interested? Sounds great. A hike? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, the foothills are beautiful this time of year. Oh. And if we accidentally get lost in a secluded lair... <laughs> then I'll just go take pictures of prairie dogs or something. I'm in. Infectious. <laughs> but don't let that ruin your weekend, you little love turds. <sighs> Look, Amber, we're going on a hike. You want to come? Oh, previous plans, thank God. <sighs> With who? Sigma Chi. Yeah, Bunga. <laughs> Hey, hey, Ow. hey, hey, Simple Simon. Cool it. What? This is only the written test. Sean, this test don't mean squat. The real screening process is that two-way mirror. A two-way mirror? Huh? Right. See, they're back there evaluating us right now. So you just keep your cool. All right, everybody. I want you to turn in your application forms right here. <laughs> yeah, right. Forms. <laughs> Check out my form. Uh. Uh. 
not really work it. Uh huh, uh huh, right behind me. What are those goofballs doing? I don't know. But if we put them on the show, you can bet they're gonna make asses out of themselves. What the hell are you sweeps week? Go ahead, get busy. Go ahead, get busy. Oh! How do they see through that? Okay, guys, let's talk. <laughs> okay, officially ready for outdoorsiness. Okay. Are you sure you're okay with this? Are you kidding? I love hiking. Just last week, the escalator broke at Barney's. I hiked all the way up to casual separates in stilettos. <laughs> Maybe you should leave. <laughs> hey, look, it's a roadrunner. Come on. Mimi, let's go. Okay. Can you breathe? Yeah, if I don't swallow. It must have been all that damn fresh air. I'm allergic to nature or something. <laughs> hey guys, why don't you grab a table? I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Sid, you are just so funny. <laughs> oh, you want to watch me lick my nose again? Of course, you big nut. <laughs> Amber, why don't you come hang out with us for a while? <laughs> Why? I could see you Barbie brains at home. <laughs> On vacation, I prefer the company of Zet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, everybody, are you ready to play? Pass the waivers! Oh, are you okay? My nose is a mucus pinata. Remember now, no hands. <laughs> okay, everybody, pass the webos. Okay, Pete. Okay, just uh, just pass it. Oh no! I'll get you something. Hold on. Here. No, guys, I've had it. I'm going up to the room to take steep. I'll walk you up. No, no, you stay. I might have a snot attack on the way, but don't worry. As God is my witness, tomorrow I'll be able to breathe. And we'll have a ball. <laughs> Bye. Man, I'm still a little nervous about tomorrow. Oh, man, will you relax? We've seen the show a million times. <laughs> yeah, it's like Jerry Springer with straight people. And they're always trying to get three poor schmoes to get into a fight over some pretty girl. I you know we can use that to our advantage. How? Sean, do the math. There's no way one guy can keep the two of us from winning. Yeah, but only one of us can win. This is spring break, man. Chicks travel with chicks. So whoever wins, hooks up the other. Ah, that's right. See, it's a win-win situation. But unity is the key. So solidarity, my brother. Yeah, but wait. Then we shouldn't get in the fight either, right? Solidarity. Oh, no. All right, apple eaters. On your mark. Get set. Eat. Go. Go. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We gotta hold it. I think we gotta hold it, okay? Huh? Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god. Wow. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kiss you. That's it, you kissed me, right? Actually, I think we kissed each other. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is really 
bad. What's really bad? D. Hi. Wow. Um. When did you get here? Just a second ago. Why? What's really bad? Oh, uh, we lost the whole uh, apple feeding thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, are you feeling better? Uh, there's hope of clearing in my right nostril. Oh, well, <laughs> great. So you're ready to party. Oh, not quite. But there's an Adam Sandler movie on upstairs in the room, and I was just wondering if you could come up and explain his appeal. Definitely. Explain, explain. Go have fun. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, oh, we're <laughs> cramping her style. Oh, way cramp. <laughs> Bye. So what's the matter, Cher? You look like you lost your best friend. It's nothing, I'm just tired. Yeah, sucking face with your best friend's boyfriend will wear a girl out. We did not suck face. It was one kiss, one stupid, horrible kiss. You lost control for a second, big deal. It is, I'm gonna have to tell Dee. Just what would telling Dee accomplish? Nothing, aside from easing your guilty little blonde conscience. Are you really going to destroy Dee's relationship with Billy just so that you can feel better about yourself? But what if it was something? Trust me, it was nothing. Donnie and Marie have more heat. Now, if you care at all for Dee, this is just a secret that you're gonna have to live with forever. Cher Horowitz? <laughs> Have your application right here. Everything seems to be in order. I try. Just a few routine questions. Ever commit murder? No. Ever disrespect your elders? No. Ever dance for no reason? Come on in. I think you're going to like it here. Oh. One other thing. Um, have you ever kissed your best friend's boyfriend? Absolute squelchment and complete avoidance. Just quit barnacling and let Dee and Billy have their weekend. It's gonna be kind of tough to avoid them. Not if we stick to our old itinerary. Evasive action is the name of the game. Following Amber's itinerary, we are spotting off premises. Hopefully I'll fly successfully under the Billy D radar. Cher. Uh-oh, bogey at 10 o'clock. Cher. Oh no, he's locked on. Cher, we need to talk. Mayday, mayday! Goose eject! We have a salt rub in 10 minutes. It's non-refundable. I've got to deal with this. You can run, but you know we need to talk. Chimps. I am working with chimps. So, how are you feeling about last night? Horrified, nauseous, unclean. Mm -hmm. I could go on. Look, I would never purposely come between friends. But I really feel like there's something between us. No way, Billy. Okay, like I totally respect that. But just so you know, either way, it's not gonna work out between me and Dee. Come on, I'm sure if you just spent more time together, you... We'd find out we had even less in common. Look, she's a great girl. She's just not for me. But you? Oh, there you are! <laughs> I see you are uh, feeling better? Yes, I am, thank God. I need to show you something. Okay. Okay. We'll see you at breakfast? Yeah, okay. sure. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, it's beautiful. I'm thinking about getting it for Billy. What do you think? That I'm gonna throw up? I don't know, Dee. It's perfect. I can totally see him wearing this 20 years from now. That's it. My guilt runneth over. Um, Dee, I have something to tell you. A good something or a bad something? A bad something. Billy and I kissed. What? Dee, uh, if you just listen to no. me, I'll ask the questions. Who kissed who first? Um, I think he kissed me first. Well, do you think you kissed him back? Yeah, for like a second and a half. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. That's a really long time. T, it was a total accident. What, like you tripped and his lips broke your fall? Look, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. 
I mean, it happened before I could even think. Well, how much thought does it take? I mean, did you forget that he was my boyfriend? Or did you remember and just not care? Well, I hope that kiss was worth it. Solidarity, and we'll be jiggy with the jinx. Ain't no mountain high enough to break this bond, my brother. That's right, unity in the community. <laughs> That's who we're gonna get coupled up with? Oh my god. Five, four, three, two. All right, everybody, welcome back to Coupled Up. Our intros are done, and it is time to play the game. Veronica, where to? Mm, let's see, I think I'll go with Bohunk number three. Ooh, look out. Bohunk number three. Are you ready, sweetheart? That's right. What does Bohunk number two strike you as? Hunchback, hairyback, or halfback? Uh, he's definitely halfback. An all-American with swivel in his hips. Wait a minute, what, do you want to date the guy or something? I mean, don't you have a diss for this? Uh, number two, you have a comeback? Well, well, well you know, I... I think number three is the skankiest hunchback I've ever seen in my life. I mean, does the one Quasimodo ring a bell to anybody out there? <laughs> oh, solidarity? Bite me. <laughs> uh, uh, I'd like to change my answer. Number two sleeps on rubber sheets. Oh, uh, number three has Spock ears. Number two's aptly named. Scary cat? How about below the nose? Because that's where he's got his grandma's fake eyelashes stuck. You're just going to make fun of my stash on TV. Okay, enough. I've heard enough. I will go with Bohunk number one. Sight unheard. Yes. Okay, I know we missed the salt rub, but we'll be there for the 90-minute deep tissue. I promise. Thank you. Oh, you're leaving? Yes. You should be happy. You finally get what you've always wanted. To be worshipped by millions? No, to have share all to yourself. Oh, and this is what I wanted. You are the one that horned in on this weekend. Well, I'm sorry I did, okay? She's all yours. All right. Oh, come on, don't... Cry into silk, it crinkles. Take this t-shirt. You're leaving because of the kiss. Oh, she told you? I saw it. It was completely innocent. Oh, this is rich. You, defining innocent? Are you ready for a little slap of reality, Dee? If it hadn't been Cher, it would have been someone else. You and Billy are like the worst match since Rodman and Electra. So? That makes it okay for my best friend to make out with my guy? She is your best friend. She would rather die than hurt you. Why, I don't know. But the point is, she made a mistake. Big deal. Boyfriends are a dime a dozen, but best friends... Wait a second. Did I just enter a parallel universe? Why are you saying this to me? I mean, wouldn't you love it if I were out of Cher's life forever? Actually, no. I always knew that you two were really boring. It's like uh, weekending with Teletubbies. <laughs> you know, so just go and, and, and find Tinky Winky, kiss, make up, do each other's hair, whatever. Did we just, like, almost have a moment? Not even. Just because I'm here doesn't mean I'm not still mad. Because I am still mad. You hurt me, Cher. 
See, I'm like drowning in remorse. If there's one minute of my entire life I could take back, that would be it. I know it was hard for you to tell me what happened. Not as hard as almost losing your best. I'm sorry, Dee. It's a miracle. The conjoined twins were separated, but now put back together. That's not the only miracle. Is it possible that underneath that three-ply, bitchy exterior, there lies a human heart? That's a secret you take to your grave. John, man, I'm sorry. I mean, this is all my fault. But let's swear that we never let a girl come between us again. <laughs> Sworn. Right, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Hey, guys. I thought you two were totally cute out there today. <sighs> no, we were fools. I'm serious. <laughs> Listen, I'm still wired from the show and in the mood to dance. Are y'all interested? Oh, he dances like Al Gore. You might want to take me. Oh, no, but she, he sleeps with his thumb in his mouth. Hello, guys. No more fighting. I think you're both incredibly hot. Now let's go melt something, shall we? <laughs> Solidarity, my brother. Oh, with the heavy accent on the solid. Yes. <laughs>